signal is given and the car sets off rapidly over the starting line, doing well through the first corner. If my memory of yesterday serves me right, this is uh, already uh, a much cleaner performance from Budapest than what we saw at the autocross yesterday. I think at this stage they had already clipped uh, a number of more cones than uh, they do so far. They're slowing down for the tightest of corners that we have on the on the track here, yeah. uh, pushing along uh, a blue cone for quite a while there. It seems the cars there slow down intentionally just so they can hit that one cone. The corner where they struggled yesterday is passed successfully. The first lap is completed. Good times, 43 seconds. Second lap looking very similar to the first so far. I'm even hearing very similar throttle input. Slowing down once again on the back corner, but finding its way around nicely. The one blue cone that they deposited right in front of the uh, FSG forum does not seem to phase the track recognition of the car. And the second lap is complete. We're hitting one yellow cone just after the start line and another yellow and blue cone on the first right-hander, but still going along very nicely. Still good through the slalom section. Car not seeming to have any problems. No, and it's even going slightly faster than on the first go-around. Jumping a little bit on the bump in the track. And completing its third lap successfully. Staying very close to the cones on the first right-hand corner, but not touching any of them this time around. Feels like the throttle is becoming a little bit more uh, binary, you know, it's a little bit more jumpy. Yeah, that might be, but uh, two points make a line to me. The last two laps were almost uh, or very close to each other. Lap times, 41.2, I think is roughly the pace that we'll be seeing in the next few laps. And it seems just like the Schalmers car. The Budapest car has moved all the cones that were troubling it out of the way and is now making its way through the, laps, the rest of the laps very cleanly. Yeah, well, Budapest is uh, lapping about 11 seconds slower than what we saw from Chalmers earlier. Um, what we also saw earlier is that's already a big achievement uh, to make it around this track at all. Quite a number of teams already attempting uh, not managing to do so, so this is the second car uh, that has completed the first lap of the track drive today. And is completing the rest of them very well as well. We're halfway through on lap six right now. This would normally be the point where during the manual endurance there would be a driver change. But of course, if there is nothing to change, then you can, you can just keep going. Every time the Budapest car slows down for that tight, far corner from us, I do get a little bit of a heart attack. <laughs> As the laps progress, I do feel more and more with the teams. Just hope that they are able to finish this drive.
Well, the car certainly looks to be setting very consistent times. Uh, Jonas, does the timing confirm that? Absolutely, we're now dipping into the 41 ones. Tenth faster than the trend of, uh, that I projected earlier. It's remarkable to see how consistent both uh, Budapest and Chalmers were uh, in their runs once the, the car had rearranged uh, the track to its liking. Would be interesting to see a manual vehicle on this exact same track to see how consistent a human driver can be. But unfortunately that benefit is only given to us with the acceleration and skid pad of the driverless cars. And the Budapest car felt a little bit slower through that far corner and straight in front of the large stand on this lap, but still continuing along. Well, your feelings deceive you. 41.1 it is. hear some relieved laughs from the audience. It seems they also grow a little bit concerned every time the car slows down in that far corner, Jonas. The reason for that is that this was the last lap. Solid blue lights. This is a successful run for Budapest, the second one of the day.